You know, say you suppose I see water, so it's easier for someone to throw it away. And do what? Like throw the water away, so it's not easier. You think I can try to do that? No, you don't understand. The, the animal will remain. No, but no, it's annoying, no. you know. Hey, cross, hold on. Okay, yeah, hold on. Ha, oh boy. So I get that for you. If you want that fee exchange. Yes, the self-care you're talking about. It's not fucking self-care. I'm not the one trying to. Do you know how how do you know the kind of work you're giving me? Why would I do that? It's part of the job. Oh, I can get that. Hey, 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 hey. You are a whole I don't see you like this. You're mad. You don't fall like this. So what you mean? So it's they gave you that option. Do you want to mention what I'm talking about? They gave me that option that look you can get down. Which are my teeth? My teeth don't fuck you. No, my team is not fucking, you know. But this other one, my team, nine thousand something dollars. Hi everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on wherever you are watching from. Did you watch that video, guys? So you guys know that I love Aproko so much. So let's talk about what's surrounding the, that first video, and we talk about the second video. So. What's a clean home without a little drama to brighten it up? Hey, hey, Big Brother House experienced a pocket of heated argument so following meeting by Shorzy about cleanliness of the all stars in Biggie's house. You know, the head of the house is Omoshala, and he talks about a lot about cleanliness that everybody should focus on cleaning their areas that is uh, his regime no they laugh eh? after their workout section this one is happening i think yesterday the housemates gathered in the lounge at the barest of head of the house deliberation on the best way to keep the house clean you know all these big boys and big girls they don't really think about cleaning all they do is as long as they dress fine we have fine clothes we have fine perfume they are good to go they don't care about anything so this their head of the house is hammering on cleanliness so shortly after their deliberation oh, Cross advised CC about emptying bottles of water before disposing of them. But that didn't sit well with CCO, who thought it was too stressful for her to do while trying to clean the house. Cross, however, continued saying that it was the best she did that which made CC to go off, warning him not to push it further. I'm not coming for you. You know, one your was now. Nah. Sissy like as in she like was was. She use and do tea and bread. Cross said while trying to explain himself after Sissy accused him of purposely causing trouble. Mind your business, so Sissy said as she turned away and continued cleaning. Clearly annoyed by Cross' suggestion, everything diverts Sissy. As long if you make a little suggestion to Sissy. She will she go provoke for you. The drama about cleaning space in Biggie's house continue with Adekule and Alex. Adekule argued that Alex's belongings were constantly <clears throat> appearing in his locker space, creating clutter he did not like. The two went back and forth while a few of Alex's clothing items were actually found in Adekule's locker space by Perry. It's like Alex is the type that likes scattering everything. She will remove her clothes and put it anywhere she feels that she will get it back from later. The fight for the clean and clutter-free space might lead to more fights this week. Seeing as head of the house, Shorzy is very interested in making sure that the house remains organized and clean. What space in the house will cause the most controversial remains to be seen? But the kitchen and the bedroom, that is the worst place. A kitchen and the bedroom or even the toilet areas are likely to be the hot spot for potential disputes. And have those areas, I can talk on that side now. These shared space are used by all housemates, making it crucial for them to be kept tidy. You know, most of the times they always have problems uh, during their kitchen stores. 
someone will cook this and will not clean it. Someone will take something and will not finish his or her own drink and will dump it by the side. You know, some people are so forgetful that they normally leave one or two things by the side while they are less consigned. So if housemates continue to disregard each other's boundaries and fail to address the issues collectively, because that their space are used uh, by all housemates, making it crucial for them to be kept tidy and free of any pers personal belongings. The tension surrounding clean cleanliness could escalate further. Hmm? So this next one is um that second video that you watched is um they were discussing, I think after their task or something, though you know Pereo CC was there and knew they were discussing about um Doyin was telling Pere whoever that did your vini did a good job. I saw you before, Pere. You were so ugly as elf. Jeez, these people, eh? And even CC was telling you, as you guys can see, yes. Neo wasn't that handsome before. You guys can check his picture now. His before and after. Neo is Neo is looking really good. Sissy just said, "Eh, now I no say you no know, find like this before. Now something changed, my dear. When you have money, you need to look good. You need to look fine now. And you know, guys, know that." Immediately you come out from Big Brother's house, you will not be the same person. You will look, try to get something to look good. As in, when people see you, they will know that something has changed in your life. And you will present yourself to the world, showcase your talent, and make lots of money from one or two things that you are doing. So, guy, have to change now. Do you expect him to still remain that ugly as before? CC, you uncle, you even changed. You guys can see from CC's old picture, even though CC is beautiful. Yes, she is really beautiful. But one or two things has changed from her physique and from her skin and all that. So everyone needs to change. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you watch and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please guys, what I still waiting for? Click on that red button below, turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I post a new video. This is your Aproko Mistress. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye, guys.